Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. Welcome to the beginning of the Mystery Schools. There is so much ancient energy here. And there are other things hiding here that are the bias of humanity. I'm going to tell you a story, and it's going to lead me to say controversial things, things that are not necessarily accepted at all. And you will be the judge on whether these things are so or not. For many years, I have been telling you of the upcoming weather change. 22 years ago, in the first book, I channeled the information that there would become a time when it would rain where it never rained before, and where it never rained, it would rain. This is the prophecy I've given you of what science is starting to see. We have called this the water cycle. Others have called it climate change, and some have even called it global warming, although that is not the case. It simply is climate shift. Gaia, the Earth, the Mother, breathes in a certain way. And this breath is the weather change. It must do it in order to balance itself, but it does it so slowly that sometimes there are no records. As little as 400 years ago, there was a shift and you can see it in the records. Every four to five hundred years, there are minor shifts. Every approximately 17 to 800 years, there are major shifts. The issue is humanity doesn't always record them, or does it? I'm going to tell you something it's very controversial. I want to ask you a question. If you go back 5,000 years, what do you think was here? And I want you, for just a moment, attendees here, to open your eyes and look around. Sand and more sand. Animals that exist in the heat without water. And this, you say, is Egypt. This is controversial, so stand by. Climatologists are beginning to acknowledge these weather shifts. And they are looking at things, even here, and saying, what was it like through the 3,000 years of Egypt? Specifically, what was it like when the pyramids were built? And the reason I wanted you to look around, I want you to fantasize for a moment. Green rolling hills of grass and a lot of water. I want you to envision, when you see the Sphinx up close, a very colorful Sphinx, surrounded by a moat of water and grass. <laughs> Dear ones, is this possible? That during the times that we speak of, that the weather could have shifted this much? Controversial. It's also very controversial with those who study here 
And yet, everything you see hints that maybe something was different. When you look at the pillars, they stand for trees. What is on the top of so many pillars? Flowers, branches. It seems to be everywhere. Let me ask you this. Did any of the gods carry anything at all which would indicate farming? And do you farm in the sand? <laughs> it's true that along the Nile there were these things. But what if Egypt blossomed during these times? It is something for you to think of. Egyptologists change history when they make discoveries. They can only tell the true age of something by the stories. What they find are the stories of the ancients as they lived, as the gods as they died. And around those, there's the depiction that lets them date the things they find. Some discoveries are yet to be found, which will make the Sphinx far older than they think. This is coming, and you will see. It just enhances this civilization and the beauty of it. And I'll say this in closing. If you have enough water and dirt, Dear ones, you can do just about anything. Water was not missing during the constructions that you see in this area. It was abundant. Think of these things, controversial as they may be, and judge for yourself. This is the mystery today. And so it is.